idea and I highly recommend don't drive down this road when it's raining I need to get somewhere uh, just at the end of this road here so FSD decided to take me down Georgetown Pike and it didn't really occur to me until I was making a right onto the road that oh this is not the best road to drive down when it's raining but here we are uh, one of my air pressure um, in my back right tire that's the passenger side is um, low it's showing low this morning it's showing 35 psi why i'm not sure uh, but i did buy that tire repair kit a long time ago i think i've had it in my trunk for two years and i've used it once um not saying that it's not a solid piece of equipment it just you know it doesn't come in handy every day I, um, I, I let my co-workers know too like hey I have one of these in the trunk in case but we got a sheets close by to the job and they offer free air so who knows I might even take it over there later on uh, if not I'll just pop in the, the tire repair kit and it plugs right into your car uh, through the electrical component and then um, yeah you just pump up your air it has a nice little nifty tool where you can pump up like basketballs, footballs, and soccer balls and stuff like that too. So yeah, here we are. This is 12.5.4. This is the latest. Uh, there is 12.5.5 out now, which is FSD on Cybertrucks. Ooh, FSD on Cybertrucks is a real thing. I still can't even believe it. Shout out to uh, Dirty Tesla, Holmars, WhatsApp, AE, um, Cyber Farmer, all these people with their cyber trucks just got FSD last night and the day before, and I am so stoked for them. Honestly, I'm so happy. I am getting ready to meet up, uh, hopefully, AE Electric, uh, Cyber Farmer, and Watts, Watts, Watts of Tesla, who both are DMV. Cyber truck owners. There's a lot of DMV cyber truck owners. I met one at the um, Tesla service center in Sterling, and it was this uh, young lady with her son. She had a Model X, and her son had the cyber truck, and I was just taken away by them. I couldn't believe it. Uh, her son is 16 years old, and he was driving the cyber truck. Not only driving it, I looked like he was learning to drive on it. Now, that part I wasn't fully sure on, but I did invite them to the light show, which is coming up on October 18th in Frederick, Maryland. So if you're a DMV local, make sure to show up. It's going to be really fun. Um, and uh, yeah, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, just uh, really praying for the weather. And uh, we'll definitely keep you in the loop about that as we get a little bit closer. To the date, but make sure you follow Tesla Maryland on uh, X, and I think he has a group on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well too. So that will give you the latest uh, updates on uh, what's going on. So yeah, make sure if you're local, come out there and uh, be sure to you know show your support. We're lighting up for uh, world peace and uh, just the unity of DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And uh, yeah, anyone, even if you don't have a Tesla, you can come up there. And uh, But of course, if you do have a Tesla, make sure you bring them because we're gonna do some coordinated light shows. Make sure to follow Tesla X Tesla light shows, uh, Simon Pollock, who does some really significant, epic light shows. He customizes them. And uh, you know, he get groups a lot of Tesla cars together, hundreds at a time, and uh, then they go all out. 
and it's pretty amazing to see. I just can't even imagine what it's going to be like to be in one or be a part of one. So really, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, here we go with the Polestar in front of us doing its thing. Um, don't think that they're on any kind of autopilot FSD yet. This is a Washington DC driver in front of us here and definitely doing its thing. I appreciate the safe courtesy driving because my FSD is definitely following the Polestar and is doing a really good job at it. And uh, yeah, shout out to the autopilot team for just constant updates for making the September timeline, making sure everyone gets their updates pushed out. And uh, yeah, I got uh, actually Smart Summon, you know, really cool. Check out my videos uh, more on the way. And then uh, I've got 12.5.4, uh, which is utilizing Tesla Vision and end on the highway. I'm not sure if end to end on the highway is included on this build or not, but just know that that's coming really soon. My guess is 12.6 might include version 13. Who knows how high we go in the 12.5 range, but uh, we're already at 12.5.5, you know, so I can, I can definitely see us getting a 12.69. 12.69 might actually be the V13, who knows. Uh, that would be uh, pretty crucial. Granted, 10.69 was one of my favorite builds we've ever got. Um, I think to me that was the life-changing build. That was when um, you know Tony Stark is uh, in Iron Man One in that moment that he was like, "Yeah, all right, I can fly." You know that that was 10.69. FYI, if you think that's that that's 12.5, it's not. Uh, the car has been able to drive itself for a long time. And uh, make sure to check out some of my old videos. I think it's a good time frame now to me, uh, for me to uh, do like a FSD over the years kind of video. Uh, make sure, you know, you subscribe to the channel. And uh, here we go with this very, very difficult turn. See how FSD handles it nice and smooth at 19. So yeah, I have um, a good amount of videos going down this road in particular. This is uh, Georgetown Pike here in Northern Virginia, which connects the Capitol Beltway to the suburbs. And uh, yeah, so um, be sure to subscribe. We will, uh, I, I think I'm gonna put together one of these Tesla FSD over the years kind of video where I will, um, I think I'm gonna use this road, for example, uh, because I have so many videos going down this road. This was one of the first roads that I tested FSD on um, with 10.12, right? And um, yeah, so this is even pre 10.69 days. This was 10.12, I think that was the official build that I first was introduced to FSD on. Now, believe this or not, I had the car for like I don't know, four months before they gave me FSD, so I had the ability to really test out autopilot and then test out navigate on autopilot and uh, TACC, traffic aware, cruise control, really understanding, you know, the capabilities of these different uh, softwares. So, yeah, really, really important. I think that it was a good idea that I didn't start off with FSD on day one. Uh, because for whatever reason, you know, if you need to revert back, um, it's, you know, it's always good to have the knowledge. And the better the knowledge, the more the knowledge, always the better. So, really shout out to FSD for keeping me on a nice, smooth drive here. A really, really rainy, messed up day today out here in the DMV. Uh, we are receiving the back end of Helene. Um, so, really, um... Sorry to anyone who had to deal with Helene, and I and I heard people down in North Carolina had to deal with it. I hear people down in Florida had to deal with it really bad. Uh, and uh, it's tough to see people's power go out and homes be destroyed and uh, whatnot. And uh, it's just just so important to be safe out there. And uh, yeah, not really sure where we stand on the electric vehicle hurricane topic. I'm not sure. Thank God we're in a pretty um, safe area as far as the past couple years go. Who knows, you know, this area can be affected and devastated by weather at any given moment. But at the same time, we have a pretty good track history here in the DMV area. Um, 
you know, winter's coming up soon, so, man, I can barely see now, so I think I'm gonna pop on this. So, yeah, winter's coming up, and, uh, you know, winters in the Tesla are pretty good, I will say. There we go with the attention monitoring. No nudges on this entire drive, which is incredible. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really a big fan of driving the Tesla in the wintertime. It, you know, you can cool it, you know, warm it up before getting in there. And then uh, I have a rear wheel drive, which is what I'm driving now. And it, you know, performs really well. I had a Nissan Altima before getting into the Tesla. This was like back in like 2018, 2019. I actually bought the car in 2016 so I kept it all the way up to like 2020 and uh, you know it was a front wheel drive car so winters were interesting I never really got stuck here and there I would try to use like cardboard for traction and stuff like that it's happened I used to pick up one of my friends old co-worker before he got a car and now he has a car so you know those days were kind of interesting um, but yeah can't imagine you know if I had a Tesla back then what it'd be like because ever since I had the Tesla I've only had like um, this is my fourth winter I think and uh, the first three we've had we had decent um, we you know I've, I've had two decent storms to work with two that's it and uh, both of them I had a lot of fun shooting videos at work uh, before they plowed it and uh, make sure to check those out you know it's just really giving you an example of what the car does in the snow and that way you can be more familiar if you have a model 3 or model y and you know I, this this winter i will test